Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to our daily tune-up today. Just one note, many times you're going to notice uh, when the tune-ups come to you and all of a sudden they'll stop, there's a reason for that. One of the reasons they stop coming to you is that the company that sends these tune-ups to you each morning for me, if your email is undeliverable three times, they will drop you from the list. And, in order, and what you have to do is resubscribe and all you do is unsubscribe on one of the old emails we sent you and then just re-sign up again and you'll start receiving them again. I know it's an inconvenience, however that's the way it's got to be done to prevent spam the way the laws are written right now. Today I want to talk to you about something, you know, it's kind of important to all of us and uh, we talked about fear yesterday and we're going to kind of recant a little bit of that, that fear kind of is in your head most of the time. You know, there are legitimate things to be afraid of, there's no question about it, so it's not that I am blowing off the fact that we have a lot to be afraid of in one sense, but on the other sense, if we have a little bit of faith that not only we're going to work out within the system these challenges that we don't understand right now, but also understand most of the time it always does work out for us anyway, no matter how bad things get. One of the things I want you to be aware of is today, you have the ability to pretty much overcome most things. And one of the greatest fears of all is the fear of death, or the fear of public speaking, or the fear of getting a new job. And many people are dealing with that third one right now. There's not a lot of jobs out there as we used to know them. However, there's a lot of jobs out there right now. Also, the fear of the unknown. What is going to happen next week, next year, next century? There's a lot of unknowns right now. That fear is really unnecessary because the most important moment we have right now is this moment, right now, where you are. This moment right now, as I said yesterday in the tune-up, you're kind of ahead of the ball game, really, when it comes to fear or worrying about what's going to happen, because today you can create things that are going to overcome what you thought was going to happen wrong that hasn't happened yet. Today, what I want you to really, really do, I want you to look at your resources, and I'm talking about the kind of resources you have in your emotions and your capabilities and your skills. Look at the things that you do really well. And I'll tell you, you may say you don't do something well or anything very well, but most people do something very, very well. They're gifted in a certain area. That area is where you're going to thrive. And thrive means not only make money, being happy, also thrive in growing and helping other people. So if you can really think about the areas that you do really well, maybe you just work with people really well, maybe you're a really good volunteer. You know, there's a lot of reasons to volunteer right now, especially if you're out of work, because when you start volunteering or being involved in another organization, another network of people, People will see you, you're exposing your energy and your capabilities to other people, people talk and all of a sudden you become discovered again and opportunities come your way. So today, let's take a look at being in this moment, we talk about it a lot, let's take a look at what our skills and our abilities are and a lot of the things that we love to do. I always say if you love to do something, you probably could make a fortune doing that if you just find the niche to do it in. So today is your day to really discover what your high skill set is. Also get your head out of the future and back into today. This is where the action is right now. This is where you're living your life right now. We're not living tomorrow yet and we're not going to get there till we do today. If you can go to bed today knowing you did a good job and you're ready for tomorrow, you're going to feel a lot better. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary, discovery-filled day. Until then, bye-bye.